Well, as protests against the Iranian government continue for the 16th day in the Middle East, demonstrations are also happening right here in Utah. Protesters tell Fox 13 News reporter Emily Tenser that they refuse to stop spreading awareness. In chants, in dance, and in song. Iranians living in Utah continue to stand in support of the protests against the Islamic Republic of Iran. They're fighting in the streets and they're sacrificing their life, their precious life, for the freedom that they've never had for the last 43 years. It's been over two weeks since Masa Amini died in police custody after being arrested for allegedly not following dress code. And they put on their clothes, they take off their scarf, they walk out knowing that they'll come, they'll come back knowing that they're going to get shot because that's what it's come to. Sunday's protests featured a number of speakers, including college professors, poets, and Iranians who left the country years ago. Tanaz Hoffman visited Iran years ago and was also arrested by morality police. She was told it was because she was wearing white and attracting attention. It was just such a traumatizing experience for me to go through that and I got lucky because I got out because I you know my mom came and rescued me with the passport but all the other women they don't get this treatment. Protesters with the Iranian American Society of Utah marched around Salt Lake City Hall hoping with enough global awareness and outrage change can come. And after a long time I am so proud to scream it that I am Iranian woman. Reporting in Salt Lake City, Emily Tenser, Fox 13 News, Utah.